These are the instructions for Workplace 5B, close to 25 cents. Each player needs a pencil, a record sheet, and a piece of tag board or something to cover up their work. They can share a deck of close to 25 cents cards and a set of plastic coins. Shovel the deck of cards and place it face down. Each player draws a card from the top. The player with the most pennies on their card is the first player. So I'm going to be player one right here and I'm going to draw cards. I've already drawn my card here and it has five pennies on it. My job is to make that amount of money uh, without using just all pennies. Now, if I had less than five pennies, I would have to use all pennies. But otherwise, I'm going to try to make my amount of money with coins other than just pennies. So I'm going to go over to my record sheet. If I have five cents, I'm going to use a nickel to represent my first draw. And then I'm going to cover that up uh, so that my partner can't see what I just did. So you can't look at your partner's work on that first draw. Okay, now the play goes over. The next player will do the same thing that I did. They were going to pick a card. They're going to make that amount of money using other coins besides just pennies and then cover up their work. Now the play comes back to me and I have to think, okay, if I only have five cents and I can always peek under my, what I've covered up my work with, if I need to remind myself how much I have under there, uh, just don't let your partner see. So I'm reminding myself that I have five cents. I'm trying to get close to 25 cents. Do you think I should draw another card? I'm kind of thinking I should. So I'm gonna come back over here and pick another card. Okay, so now I got eight cents and I'm going to add that to my record sheet. And again, I'm gonna to try to do it with uh, something other than just pennies. So I'm gonna use a nickel and three pennies for eight cents. Now I'm going to think, how much do I have all together? If I had five and I added eight, hmm, now I've got 13 cents. Okay, now my player takes their turn and they go through the same process that I just went through. <clears throat> then it comes back to me and I have to think again, okay, do I want to risk drawing another card. I only have 13 cents. I'm trying to get really close to 25 cents without going over. So if I go back and I take another card, hmm, do you think I should do it? Oh, I got seven cents. So let me come back to my record sheet and add seven cents. Once again, I'm going to try to do that without using only pennies. Now let's look and see how much I had. I'm going to peek under my cover again. I had five here. So I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. I only have one more card that I can take because look, there's only one place for me to show what I got. So again, it goes back to my partner. My partner has to decide whether they're drawing a card. And then there comes a time when we both have decided we're not going to draw any more cards. And when we get to that point, we both remove the cover on that first drawing that we made and we count the money we have. So I said that I had 20 cents and I'm going to write it in a little equation down at the bottom that will show what I got each time. So I had five and then I got eight and then I got seven and that equals 20. So I'm gonna record that right down here at the bottom. Uh, my partner will do the same thing. So whichever one of us got the closest to 25 cents without going over is the winner. And then you can uh, clear off your sheets and play more rounds if you have time.
whoever wins the most rounds is going to be the winner of the game.